Sound of Freedom, directed by Alejandro Monteverde, is a brave exploration of a dark reality, which is child trafficking. How does that make you feel, giving a child his freedom? I was compelled to go see this movie and give my take on it because I did a short film on the same topic a few years ago. And exploring this topic makes us realize how dark and evil this world can be. How many pedophiles you got? 288. Staring Jim Caviezel, the film is inspired by the real events and experiences of Tim Ballard and his team as they work to rescue children from child trafficking and the horrors of this modern day slavery. It is the fastest growing international crime network that the world has ever seen. The movie starts with a captivating establishing shot, framing an innocent child as she sings a song that we could think as a reference to the film title, Sound of Freedom. Through his organization, Operation Underground Railroad, Tim embarks on dangerous missions to save innocent lives. Caviezel will portray Tim Ballard in the movie, bringing his story to the big screen and highlighting the critical work of OUR in addressing the global issue of child trafficking. Jim Caviezel delivers a powerful, emotional, and convincing performance as his dedication to the role is. The film does not shy away from depicting the cruelty and brutality of this underground world. It is a call to action and a plea for society to acknowledge and combat this grave issue. The film pays tribute to the real-life heroes of Operation Underground Railroad, who risk their lives to rescue enslaved children. It alights their unwavering commitment to making a difference and showcases the importance of organizations that fights against child trafficking. While the film's intentions are undoubtedly noble, it is not without its strength and weaknesses. Heavy-handed storytelling. It's over, Tim. Close up, get on the plane and, uh, and come back home. The dialogue and character interactions can come across as overly melodramatic, which at times detracts from the impact of the narrative. Lack of character development. Sound of Freedom focuses primarily on the rescue missions and the horrors of child trafficking, leaving little room for in-depth character development while we get a glimpse into Tim Ballard's motivation. Some supporting characters feel one-dimensional and underdeveloped. Simplistic resolution. The film wraps up its central conflict with rather simplistic and idealized resolution. Given the complexity of the issue at hand, a more nuanced exploration of the challenges faced by anti-trafficking organizations could have added depth to the narrative. In a powerful and moving moment, Jim Caviezel encouraged viewers to become advocates for the film and the critical cause it represents. Let's put political agendas aside and rally around a common cause. Let's rally around the cause of keeping our kids safe. He puts a focus on the fact that the promoters of the movie were not the traditional marketing channels or Hollywood executive, but the very people watching it, the audience. And we're not gonna be silent anymore. We need to shine such a bright light on this issue. Son of Freedom was shot five years ago, and they were not able to put it on big screen specifically because of all the challenges Hollywood have put in their way. So thanks to the large parts to the dedication and persistence of those involved in the project. Sound of Freedom is a film with a vital message and a standout performance by Jim Caviezel. It shines a light on the dark and disturbing world of child trafficking, raising awareness about a global tragedy that often goes unnoticed. However, its heavy-handed storytelling and simplistic resolution prevent it from reaching its full potential as a cinematic masterpiece. Thank you for watching. If you like this review, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.